Do you remember the old style kind of religious priest who'd sit in a box and hear the confessional? Well, in actual fact, there are some people who walk around in life that do that all the time for people without even realising it. They are the witness archetype. Da, 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 da. So what a witness archetype is, is it's a human being that can actually hold a space for somebody else to really reveal who they are. And that witness holds that space in non-judgment, in compassion and in awareness so that that person can actually exercise whatever demons they believe that they're carrying. In essence, it's pretty much what I do in my own job. So I practice non-judgment. I talk to my clients. They confess things to me that they perhaps would never tell anybody else. But do you know what? It's not just what I do at work. That ends up happening to me on the train. We're sitting next to the next passenger. That happens to me in queues when suddenly someone tells me their life story. Because witnesses are everywhere. We hold the space for people and they connect with us and suddenly feel like there is something that they want to confess or say. And it's remarkably healing to be able to allow someone to just give out all of that sharing. So the way to hold a space, if you want to be somebody who is a witness or you find yourself in what I'm saying, you go, do you know, that's me. That always happens to me. I didn't know that I was a witness, but yeah, I'm a witness to other people. And to me, the power of being a witness is that you can really save people from carrying around all of that terrible guilt and shame or confusion or judgment that they hold against themselves, which is quite honestly, quite often, totally inaccurate of who they really are. So what you can do by holding the space is listening in a way that is loving and compassionate. And by listening in that way that is loving and compassionate, you are releasing so much of that wound up thing that happens in all of our souls. It's a really wonderful privilege to be a witness. And if that is you, then that is a remarkable gift. But don't forget that sometimes you need to have somebody to witness your own pain too. Witnesses are fantastic. And if you are one, just get out in the, there in the world and be one. Because witnesses never really take on board other people's stuff. They witness it, it is laid out before them, but the witness never picks it up and carries it away. Because it is witnessed with the person they are talking to, but it's not that they are dumped upon and that they carry this person's crap and bin it for them. It is that they just witness this and say, do you know what? Can't see anything wrong with that. That's okay. It's who you are. Oh, that's okay. It's in your past. It's something you've learnt from. But they always say, it's okay. I hear you. And it's okay. And by doing that, we actually free that person up. Our society needs more and more witnesses, especially in a world that is becoming social media orientated. If you have a look at Facebook, you'll see where people are trying to use Facebook as being its witness. Like this. Tell me I'm okay about that. And so people are pouring their lives out in a lonely way over this mass void of disconnection. It's time that we learn to connect with each other and go back to communities where we just acted as each other's witness. And at the end of the day, it's such a relief not to be told that you have to go off and flagellate yourself with three Hail Marys. <laughs>